Uh, my name is Dan Kerr. We are today, September 22nd, 2019, at Malcolm X Park, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the naming of the park. Yeah. Could you tell me your name? My name is Thomas Mangrum. And could you tell me your, mem uh, your earliest memories of this park? My earliest memories of this park, well, me growing up here, because I grew up around Cadoza High School. You know, I used to come over here quite often to spend some time in the park or what have you. And like, um, I come for the drum session. Now I live like downtown and I come over here for the drum session on Sunday after church. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And so you've been coming here your whole life? Yes. And you, uh, uh, what was it like um, when you were young when you first came uh, to the drum circles? When I first came over here, I was riding my bike through the park or what have you, you know, so um, I've been coming here pretty often. That's great. Has it changed much, the park? No, not really. Not really. I haven't changed that much, what have you. And how about the, how about the drumming itself? Has that changed much? Um, no. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. All right. <laughs> So do you remember, uh, as I understand it, the park used to be kind of a, a place where people would uh, gather. It was kind of a center for protest, etc. Do you remember any of that? No, I didn't come to the park for the protest or what have you, so I don't remember doing that. Mostly for the music? Yes. And were there other things you enjoyed in the park? Yes, other things I enjoyed. I could come here, have a little picnic if I want, be with my friends, and just goof off. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, your friends, uh, can you tell me a little bit about your friends and what you guys would do in the park? Um, my friends was people that I grew up in school with. And we would come over here and just talk and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And would, uh, I, I don't know, uh, would you mind telling me, are we talking 70s, 80s? Ha ha! Oh, um, <laughs> okay. Um, 70s and 80s. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, uh, what did they call? What did you call the park? Um, we just called the park Malcolm X Park. Really? Yeah. Okay. Right. We didn't call it Pavilion Park. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> because we didn't know it was Pavilion. I didn't know there was Pavilion Park for a long time. I just called it Malcolm X. And everybody in the neighborhood. Did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. And. Um, Do you see that change? Do people still mostly call it Malcolm X Park? Yeah, because a lot of times when I make my transportation with Metro Access, if I, if I say Meridian Park, they don't know what I'm talking about. If I say Malcolm X, they know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, uh, so it kind of has a deep root in, uh, in the city. People know it by Malcolm X Park. Yeah. And You've been coming here a lot. Do you recognize a lot of the people from being here over the years? Some of the people I recognize, and some of the people fade away over the years, what have you. Okay. You know. Are mm -hmm. there any particular memorable people you, you, you could tell us a story about? Um, one person, she used to come over here with her daughters. And one of her daughters, her oldest daughter, would play drums with the group. And her daughter was getting ready to go away to college. So I guess her daughter did, because I don't see her no more. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Do you play uh, drums at all or just prefer to listen? I just come over, over to listen. Gotcha. You see, I might get some drums later on. You might do what? I might get some drums later on. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. But right now, I just come to listen. And uh, has that always been the case that you like prefer to listen? Yes. Okay. And what about the drums? It draws you in. Um, I just loved the music. I just loved being out among people or what have you. Because I live by myself, so yeah. I, I just love being around, among yeah. people. That's terrific. And do you uh, find it, um, uh, how would you describe the people of Meridian Hill Park? Um, they're pretty nice, um, friendly, what have you. And they bring their dogs and kids and stuff. You know, so I enjoy being around that. Right. Uh, Any last thoughts you want to share with us? Um, well, if you come to Berenian Park, 
you can't go wrong. You're going to have a good time. Or what have you. So I've been coming here for years. So come on down. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay.